What is the best zombies map? Is it this one? Statistically, I'd probably have to agree with you. What about this one? If you're big on nostalgia, then maybe. How about this one? No, I, I actually don't think this. If I'm being totally honest, I definitely don't think it's this one. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why, in my opinion, Kino Dirt Toten is far from the best Call of Duty Zombies map. When you think of a great map, what do you think of? This question is very subjective, but I personally think of a map with a good color scheme, a fun yet a challenging easter egg, and hours upon hours of non-repetitive gameplay. Kino has none of these. I'll be breaking down my discussion into three categories. The map's color scheme, the map's lack of an easter egg, and the lack of fun and enjoyable gameplay. I'll cut Kino some slack. This map was released in 2010, but the way I judge maps is how they manage to hold up to today, not how great they were when they dropped originally. If we had a flashback to 2010 Ethan, then I'd also probably say that Kino is the best zombies map of all time. However, looking back, I really could not disagree with that statement more. Kino has a wide variety of gray and bland neutral colors in its color scheme, unlike other great maps. Maps such as Mob of the Dead, Shadows of Evil, and even Call of the Dead all have amazing color schemes. These maps are known as classics not only because they play well, but also because they are very pleasing to the eye. Mob has a nice color scheme of dark gritty colors alongside highlights of oranges and reds. Call of the Dead pulls off a nice vibe with the whites and blues on the map, and Shadows of Evil may as well have the entire color wheel on its color palette. I'm able to go back and replay these maps day in and day out because I enjoy looking at the screen for hours. I don't want to go to round 50 on a map that looks like the underbelly of a sick rock. Since I don't particularly enjoy being overwhelmed by dark and ugly grays, I am very unlikely to go back and play this map like I used to back in 2010. Call of Duty Zombies is known for its amazing easter eggs. We have maps like Origins, Mob of the Dead, The Rise of the Draka, Gorod Krovi, the list of maps with amazing easter eggs goes on and on and on. Kino is nowhere to be found on this list though. Other than holding square on three rocks, Kino has no easter egg to be found. And you may be saying that I should be more generous. This is the on-disc map of the first ever Black Ops game. Of course it ain't gonna have an easter egg. Zombies wasn't as advanced as it is now than it was back then. And though that is a fair debate, keep in mind that the map prior to Kino Der Toten, found on World at War, a game released in 2008, had an easter egg. The Reese had an easter egg, so why couldn't Kino Der Toten? I'll be honest, being able to listen to 115 by Elena Siegman is amazing, it's one of my favorite memories in all of Zombies. But by no means is it a fun and challenging easter egg, I hold square three times, and there you go. At the end of the day, the main question when it comes to whether or not a map is good or not is if it's fun to play. Well, is Kino fun to play? After you play this map twice, the replayability is gone. Every time you boot up this map, you're gonna get your quick revive, get your jug, get your speed cola, get your ray gun and thunder gun, and then you're gonna train on the stage. You cannot tell me that every single game of Kino doesn't end up like this. This map was a lot of fun when it first came out, sure, but by the time the first DLC dropped, you were already tired of this map. Actually, no, scratch that. By the time the game had been out for four to five business days, you were already bored of it. Again, keep in mind that this video is 100% subjective. And just because I think this map is about as boring as a 2018 mini spud video doesn't mean Kino is necessarily a bad map. Wait a minute. Real quick, before I let you go, I just want to mention that I got inspiration from another content creator named Nixaru for this video. I'm sure you already know about him, but if you don't, definitely check him out if you want more Call of Duty Zombies content similar to this. Also, one more thing, the other day I was in a streamer by the name of Old Man Knives' Call of Duty World War II lobby, so I checked out his channel and I gotta say, I was really impressed. Despite his channel size, I can really tell that he cares about the quality of his content, when most other channels his size kind of half-ass their videos. Definitely consider subscribing to his channel, and who knows, maybe we'll end up doing a collab someday. Anyways, I'll go ahead and quit my rambling and let you guys go now, and I'll see you all in the next-